Here are some notes on scopolamine, as well as its toxicity and overdose of scopolamine. Scopolamine is a muscarinic antagonist. It's an anticholinergic medication, and it's commonly used for post-operative nausea and vomiting prevention and prevention of motion sickness. Its mechanism is that it inhibits the M1 muscarinic receptors in the medulla's vomiting center. Some common side effects of scopolamine include dry mouth, medriasis, blurred vision, and drowsiness. You can also get anticholinergic syndrome symptoms like flushed skin, tachycardia, hyperthermia, confusion, and agitation. In elderly patients, they have decreased acetylcholine-induced CNS transmission and increased blood-brain barrier permeability, so they are at higher risk of central effects of scopolamine. There are also some drug interactions that are worth knowing. You have increased risk with other anticholinergics like oxybutynin and benztropine. So if a patient is taking oxybutynin, for instance, for their bladder, and they also get a scopolamine patch, they might be at risk for toxicity. Here's the management of overdose. The primary step is to remove the patches and to provide supportive care. You can give physostigmine for severe symptoms. Physostigmine works well because it crosses the blood-brain barrier to treat both the central and the peripheral symptoms. This is in comparison to neostigmine or peridostigmine, which would not cross the blood-brain barrier.